This video will explain a little bit about annotation groups and reference files. So I have here, this is more or less a blank DGN and I've referenced in a master DGN that has my project. So it has my terrain, my geometry, and my corridor. So I am going to open up the geometry DGN and you can see I have placed this line right here and it has a feature definition geom baseline. And in the standards, it has an annotation group called alignment reference that the feature definition uses. So when I go back to this DGN that has this referenced in, and it's referenced in within this master DGN and a nesting of one so that we can see it. I've placed another line within the existing DGN with the same exact feature definition from the DGN lib. When things are referenced in, it annotates according to what is defined within the referenced DGN. So since this line is within a reference, it's still going to use the definition that is within that specific DGN. So if I change the annotation group within while I'm in this DGN, it won't change how this is going to be annotated, but it will change how this will be annotated. So I can demonstrate that by going to this annotation group and I'm going to set just the tick marks to be every 10 units instead of 100. OK, so you can see here the tick marks are every 10 units. And right here, they're staying at the 100 that they were defined. That's because the annotation comes from the reference. So let me go back to that reference. I'm going to change it back, change this one to let's have it do every 20. And then I'll go back to my container DGN. And you can see it is updated to annotating every 20. Now, if you want these all to be the same, you can edit within the DGN lib. However, when you're done with those changes, you'll need to go within each DGN, do a right click and update standards from DGN lib. That way it'll copy the changes from the DGN lib back into the DGN. So I'll do it within this and you can see now it's back to every hundred. And I'll go to the geometry and update standards. And see here, because I renamed it within the standards, it uses this one, but because I renamed it, it kept it there. So if I go to the feature symbology, you can see now it has the correct annotation group. So when I go back to my container DGN and annotate, it'll use this one from the DGN lib, but it'll still retain this one here. And there you go.